Hi everybody and welcome to the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California. My name is Kevin Bond and I'm the owner of this site and the host of the show. And welcome to 5 Things You Need to Know About Lisa Week here on the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California. I um, was sitting at home today and I thought to myself, well, you know, it's just about time for um, Shark Week on TV. So what better idea to have than five things you need to know about our little domestic terrorist, Lisa, here in the Palm Springs area, if you're a parent or a victim or a police officer or just an interested observer or friend of the Parent Coalition here in Palm Springs. So we're going to start off today with number five. Number five is Lisa is in no way a law enforcement officer or working for the federal government or working for the FBI or working for the NSA or working for any criminal uh, justice organization in the country. She is a private human being that works in the private sector doing nothing more than spying on people and tattletaling about them to the police department. Now, Today's posting, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet, is going to be all about what she's like, what this does, and how it plays into her fantasies of being a police officer, and how it plays right into her hatred of men and gay men, and the humiliation she's putting all of us through as a way to uh, turn on her own sexuality. And, and one thing that I want everybody to understand is... Um, I am a police informant, and what happened was when Christopher Monti and I became police informants, we ran into a whole bunch of stuff that involved police officers. And once you have made that obligation to become an informant for a police officer, and you find out that the police officers and other people in the department are involved in the crime, then we have an obligation as informants to continue the investigation regardless of how the police department feels about it because we have a greater responsibility to the federal government in the state of California to do the job that we were asked to do. So no matter what happens, Christopher and myself cannot stop doing what we're doing because we found out about a much bigger crime. And uh, you'll see on the blog today uh, a nice long posting about um, Lisa not being a police officer. Now, she may have connections to the police department, which we are dealing with right now, but she's not a police officer, and she doesn't work for the county of Riverside, and she doesn't have any authority to use this technology the way she has. No matter what you rookie cops have been told, no matter how you were told that you had to do this, you are committing a crime if you are using these devices at work, if you are listening to her and going out on calls, if you are arresting someone based on any information that she gives you, you have committed a crime. The point being is this. We have a domestic terrorist in our midst, and we have been working very, very hard as an informant, I had to employ other people involved in this organization to do things and find things out about our police department and about this girl and the things that she's been involved with. And what we found was very, very scary. However, it is not without merit to say that one of my favorite police officers is my police contact. And I'm trying really hard to convince my team to get him a list of police officers that are involved in this crime. Um, what he does with that list as the Crimes Against Persons um, unit leader is uh, his business. But if he chooses not to do anything, it's going to be difficult in the future to be able to protect him as his informant. Um, I certainly have not received any protection the way I needed to from the police department. Uh, Christopher certainly didn't as he went to jail. But smartly, Christopher and I knew that the job of the informant is to find other people within the organization that felt the way that we did and wanted to work with us legally 
to find a solution to this problem. And so we have attorneys and we have a team and we have information and we have tons of evidence about this crime. I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands that I'm trying to be above board with what we're doing and get to my police contact the information that he needs to make a decision based on what he needs to do. Now, whether or not it's a conflict for him, that's up to them to decide. But my opinion is, as an informant, the only way that I can get this information to him is to try to convince my team to do this. That's up to them. That's up to them. But these people that work on my team worked under me as an informant to get inside this organization and get the information that we need to present to a grand jury for indictment. And that's what it's all about, kids. This is, this is what it's about. It's about working hard to get something resolved that we've been working on for a long time. So um, I just want to let everybody know that uh, this week is five things you need to know about Lisa Week. And the next couple of days are going to be really interesting because I've got some great topics that I'd like for you to see. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy what we have to post. So everybody hang in there. Christopher, I love you. I hope you're doing well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.